Oman, a breathtaking and captivating sultanate in the heart of Arabia, and the oldest independent state in the Arab world. Oman is one of the more traditional countries in the Gulf region and was, until recently, one of the least known. Today's Oman is experiencing a glorious renaissance, led by a leader with a vision and populated by a people striking a proper balance between the cherished values of Islam and an open global lifestyle. Ahlan wa sahlan. Occupying the southeast corner of the Arabian Peninsula, Oman is an active member of the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC. The capital city is Muscat. Oman is a, a very uh, beautiful country in the Gulf region, and uh, we believe that uh, Oman is uh, unique and special compared to uh, other countries in the region. Oman is entering a, a very huge uh, development uh, program that will uh, will change the entire economic and infrastructure in the country. Oman's road to prosperity and progress has been paved by one man, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said. In 1970, Sultan Qaboos faced the formidable task of turning an impoverished country with little physical or administrative infrastructure into the modern state that it is today. The vision uh, of His Majesty, as uh, always repeated in many of his speeches, is really to develop a very modern country that uh, has sustainability in the future, in their uh, economic-wise, in their social lives, into uh, building uh, a nation that's for to stay for a long time. This requires lots of works, lots of uh, uh, infrastructure uh, homework that has to be done in the country to bring it to the vision that His Majesty had, which is uh, building a very modern country. I think uh, the way that his uh, leadership is reflected in some of the, the policies that makes Oman a very um, uh, important and stable country in the region and to worldwide are a testimony of uh, uh, the leadership style that he, he has earned. Like many other countries in the region, Oman's economy is heavily reliant on oil wealth. But unlike these countries, Oman is sparing no initiative in creating a self-sustainable, diversified economy that is not dependent on hydrocarbons. This is the core of the Sultan's Vision 2020 plan. We know that we have uh, limited resources in oil. Therefore, uh, we are determined to diversify our economy and try to uh, get some sort of industri industrialization in our economy and create uh, job opportunities for our young people. The Omani government realizes that an empowered and competent local workforce is the foundation of a strong nation. This long-term commitment to domestic human capital, called Omanization, expects provisions for hundreds of thousands of jobs for Omanis in various fields. His Majesty's strongest desire is the manpower available in the country must be utilized fully, which would reduce the requirement of the foreigners. Then nobody in the country would be unemployed. I would say it could be self-sufficient. In a region notorious for religious extremism and unrest, Oman stands out as an oasis of peace. Oman's a wonderful place to live and do business. For a start, it's the most friendliest country in the Middle East. As far as business is concerned, uh, the, the processes you go through are very well managed. Uh, it's a good system of law uh, and uh, banking systems. Uh, all the support systems that businesses need are here and well functioning. We want to see Oman as a place where people go and invest 
as an investors in terms of the uh, industrial and uh, some other services. We want to see Oman as well as, as a tourist area where people will go to Oman, will say this is the best place to go. Coming up next, a long-term partnership with the United States. Shaping Oman through vision and foresight. The Zubair Corporation is a pioneer in business, playing a seminal role in Oman's development. Comprising a diverse range of hallmark companies, strategic business units, and joint ventures, the success of the corporation reflects Oman's growth. We are continually looking to explore new partnerships, establish business relationships, and build our vision for the future. It takes vision and expertise to identify opportunities. We believe that opportunities are all around. We have the know-how to make it happen. Imagine a future with us. The Zubair Corporation. The Sultanate of Oman is a place of unrivaled natural beauty and cultural richness. Your journey begins and ends with OAMC, the Oman Airports Management Company. We are your gateway to Oman. Oman Airports Management Company is responsible for the management and operation of Oman's current and future airports. And we are embarking on some of the largest infrastructure projects in the country. Muscat International Airport is the largest airport in Oman, directly connected to 56 destinations in 27 countries. Currently, it is able to accommodate 6.5 million passengers a year. But upon completion of the new airport in 2014, we will be able to accommodate 12 million passengers. Salala Airport in the south of Oman will soon welcome 1 million passengers to the beautiful region of Dofar. We are proud to be a part of a new beginning in Oman's aviation infrastructure. OAMC. The future begins now. The Ramada Muscat, welcoming you to a world of experiences in Oman. The perfect location for a successful business trip or a pleasurable and relaxing holiday. Ideally located in the Shati Al Qurum area, in the heart of Muscat's diplomatic and ministerial district, the Ramada Muscat is close to the famous Qurum Beach and the Royal Opera House. The Ramada Hotel Muscat. Rest, revive, restore, and leave the rest to us. Oman's relationship with the United States dates back over 200 years. Even today, both nations are particularly supportive of each other's foreign policies and economic platforms. America has actually the know-how and uh, it is very crucial and essential for us to have a very long relationship between uh, us so that this know-how and this uh, technology transferred uh, to the country and the involvement of Oman and America into the free trade uh, agreement has also broadened the opportunity and uh, between the two countries to be directly involved in the economic development that we are uh, witnessing right now. The Zubair Corporation has been doing business with and representing American companies since its inception. In the early 70s, just as the Omani economy was opening up, Zubair Corporation started importing Chrysler vehicles into the country, the first American automotive brand to be brought in. When the United States was hit by Hurricane Katrina in 2005, damaged oil rigs were shipped to Oman and repaired by Zubair joint venture company Larson & Tubro. We always look at uh, our partnerships as long-term partnerships. Uh, we also uh, make sure that uh, any partnerships we go in, we add uh, significant value uh, into that partnership and that helps in sustainability. Uh, obviously, in addition to our um, understanding of the region, understanding of the requirements uh, and our ability to use our own uh, infrastructure. Our activities encompass everything from energy to construction to uh, tourism. And uh, we have obviously played a major part in the development of the country. We continue to do so. 
and with the introduction of a new business line we expect to be around in the future. Oman is one of the few countries in the region with a free trade agreement with the United States. This FTA, which entered into force in January 2009, promotes economic reform and openness and solidifies Oman's trade and investment liberalization. This is a very good vehicle for Americans to use to establish business here because everything that's exported from Oman into the U.S. will be tax-free or duty-free, basically duty-free, and vice versa. So I believe this is a great vehicle to use uh, to do business here. Uh, Oman has uh, uh, a very well-built uh, infrastructure, um, and uh, Oman also enjoys a very stable political uh, uh, system. Uh, in addition to that, there are special economic zones uh, infrastructure that's been done spe specifically in some zones that will help uh, investors uh, in, in, uh, in their specific uh, requirements. Up to $1 billion has been committed by the Omani government to the development of Oman's four ports, namely Sultan Qaboos port in Muscat, Sohar, Salala, and Dukam. The port of Sohar in particular is a marvel of industrial infrastructure located within the Sohar Free Zone and is strategically located before the Strait of Hormuz. Any other big port development in the uh, Middle East is after the Strait of Hormuz. So that is one of the big advantages. The other big advantage is that we ha do have deep water access uh, for all ships into the port. And what's also very important for the port of Sahar, it will become a very diverse port. And then linked to that is the massive development of the Sohar Free Zone, which is linked to the port and another 4,500 hectares to be developed, which will be very interested for American companies. One of the largest companies established here is also the nation's prime example of industrial excellence to the world, Sohar Aluminum. Basically, we are producing aluminum for uh, the primary market. We try to be a precursor for a lot of other industries. We have a thousand employees direct working for us, 700 of them are Romani. And um, we try to be the best at what we do. Oman has had a renowned seafaring tradition for centuries, with its inhabitants drawing livelihood from the waters of the Arabian Sea. Oman is one of the region's leading exporters of fish, giving the fisheries sector great potential for growth if its resources are properly exploited. Coming up next, maintaining financial equilibrium and economic stability. Shaping Oman through vision and foresight. The Zubair Corporation is a pioneer in business, playing a seminal role in Oman's development. Comprising a diverse range of hallmark companies, strategic business units and joint ventures, the success of the corporation reflects Oman's growth. We are continually looking to explore new partnerships, establish business relationships and build our vision for the future. It takes vision and expertise to identify opportunities. We believe that opportunities are all around. We have the know-how to make it happen. Imagine a future with us. The Zubair Corporation. Muscat Pharmacy Oman, the oldest and largest pharmacy in the Sultanate. Beginning in 1968, with just one pharmacy, we have steadily grown over the years and diversified our activities to better serve our clients both in government and the private sector. Beyond our local knowledge, we have extensive international partnerships with top-name pharmaceutical manufacturers to ensure the healthy growth of this country to international standards. Some of these partners include AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and Siemens. Our network contains 66 retail outlets and various warehouses so that we can efficiently bring healthcare solutions to any part of Oman in the best conditions. 
We constantly seek new partners to bring innovative solutions to Oman, such as in health tourism, to make sure local Omanis and international residents have world-class health care options. Muscat Pharmacy. We make good health happen. A strong bank in the Sultanate of Oman. With a presence in corporate banking, consumer banking, investment, treasury, and project finance, Bank Dofar has a reputation of commitment, foresight, and solid growth, and has been named as the best bank in Oman 2010 and 2011, Bank Dofar. Oman's largest processor and exporter of fish and seafood products. Implementing eco-friendly practices and leveraging our expertise to deliver innovative and quality-driven marine-related offerings. Oman Fisheries Oman's banks are an important factor in maintaining financial equilibrium and economic stability. Led by the Central Bank of Oman, the sector is highly regulated and stable. The banking sector is very resilient. All our banks are profitable. Uh, they have not been uh, exposed to any of these toxic uh, instruments which have uh, created the, uh, the global financial crisis. Uh, they, are, uh, they don't have any large exposure to, to foreign uh, institutions. So uh, I can say that the, bank, the Omani banking sector is very strong. I'd say the banking sector in Oman is not overpopulated by banks, but it's competitive. It's a good thing for the market. I would say in terms of uh, customer behavior, uh, Oman is a country where people want to better themselves. So uh, that means uh, not just a lot of savings with banks, it also means a lot of credit. Uh, people want to borrow heavily to buy that latest new Porsche or that latest new home and so on. And that makes it uh, very profitable for banks. But at the same time, we're, we're very well regulated by a strong central bank, and so we don't overdo it. The Omani government has recently allowed Islamic banking into the country. Islamic finance is a $1 trillion industry. And what this landmark decision means is that specialized Islamic and commercial banks in Oman could now offer Sharia-compliant products. The ability to advance and develop is also a characteristic of the healthcare industry in Oman. Healthcare in Oman is improving and the objective is to provide excellent healthcare which will take uh, a lot of effort and expenses and that's why we're looking for partnership with people who know how, they have longer experience than us and uh, to, to work with them, partnership between us and the private sector. Muscat Pharmacy is a successful example of a strong government-private sector partnership. While being the largest and one of the oldest pharmacies in the Sultanate, it is also committed to making healthcare accessible to the people of Oman. We also started keeping pace with the development of the country and year after year we have been able to progress into the healthcare. Today, we are one of the largest supplier of all products related to healthcare for the government as well as for the private sector. Oman's multifaceted development has increased the demand for real estate and high yields in residential and commercial properties. The government is also working with both local and international contractors to deliver various infrastructure and building projects. We've developed very, very strong relationships with a number of ministries across Oman during our uh, 45 years of delivering projects and we've always found them to be very open and very clear in what they require. We therefore are very, very pleased that we have got such a good, strong relationship with the minister, ministries in Oman and that what we're doing is making a difference to people's lives. While the rest of the Arabian Gulf is reveling in a nouveau architecture straight out of a science fiction movie, Oman is quietly maintaining a subdued and balanced style with its new buildings. The fact that Muscat does not have a single skyscraper is unique among GCC capitals. I think it's right that the government wants to make sure that they, they don't have the, these huge buildings that are out of keeping uh, in Oman uh, and 
damages the authenticity of the architecture uh, that you see wherever you go in Amman. It's very, very, very personal to people of Amman, very Arabian, and that gives it its own identity. And I don't think that they should go away from that. Oman's aviation landscape is currently undergoing a dramatic transformation. The Omani government believes that building a robust air transport industry is critical to underpinning the Sultanate's long-term development goals. The development of Oman's major airports is part of the government's five-year development plan, uh, which is very much based on diversification of the economy away from oil and gas and more towards general business and tourism. And Oman Airports Company is the organisation charged with both operating these airports and marketing. Oman's new airports, set for completion in 2014, are expected to be truly iconic facilities that will be a big source of pride to the nation. The development of Muscat Airport and Salala Airport is a multi-billion US dollar project, the largest development project in Oman and ever in, in this country. The new airport is designed for 12 million passengers and capable of expansion to 24 million, subsequently right up to 48 million passengers, which is designed to take us through to 2050 or a uh, long-term uh, future scenario for, for growth of this country. Together with the national carrier, Oman Air, the government is confident that Oman will become a leading air transport hub soon. Uh, there is a criteria for being a hub. Uh, actually, it is uh, the aerospace, space on the ground, legislation, surfaces, uh, facilities. And Oman has all this uh, criteria. And uh, we are going to uh, make sure that everybody recognizes uh, Oman uh, best quality surface to become a hub in the region. Coming up next, a land of old world Arabian charm. Oman Air, a world class luxury airline for a world class destination. There is service and true Omani hospitality. Home to the best business class seat in the world. There are airlines and there is Oman Air. National Ferries Company, a significant investment for Oman's maritime transport infrastructure, sailing on the longest domestic maritime lines for high-speed ferries in the world through the Strait of Hormuz. There is no better way to experience beautiful Oman. National Ferries Company. When visiting Muscat, where better to stay than at the Majan Continental Hotel? Designed like a traditional Omani fort, we offer top-class amenities like transport to the beach on request and boast of the largest swimming pool in Oman in the four-star category. Relax in one of our 159 spacious air-conditioned rooms or get fit at our health club. We also offer a 24-hour coffee shop, restaurants with theme buffet dinners and new VIP nightclub. Majan Continental, hospitality at its best. Auto Rent is a leading car rental and leasing company in the Arabian Gulf. Auto Rent provides reliable car rental and leasing services for business travelers and tourists to the beautiful country of Oman. With over 6,000 vehicles, Auto Rent combines road safety with a personal touch. Whether you want a 4x4 for the desert or a luxury car for the city, we have the right vehicle for you. Auto Rent, your reliable rental and leasing company. Welcome to Beach Hotel Muscat, centrally located in the heart of the city's nearby beaches and the Royal Opera House. We offer spacious and comfortable suites and rooms for business and leisure travelers. Our friendly staff and authentic Thai restaurant will make your stay memorable. Beach Hotel Muscat, courteous hospitality beyond expectations.
and we've got this enormous natural attraction of our home base and country. It's got a completely different topography to anywhere else in the region, and above all, the warmth and hospitality of the people. And that's something that you don't find very easily in the rest of the region, and it's what makes Oman Air different to its competitors, and why the country is such a great place to go to. Until recently, Oman was the best kept secret in the Middle East. Oman can now proudly be called a world-class tourist destination. It will linger in your memory long after you leave. Oman, it is unique and one of the reasons is its authenticity. Where can we go that's a true experience rather than a manufactured one? Where can I go that I'm not surrounded by constant construction and feeling that the past is being recreated for me? And it's here. You're surrounded by people, buildings, heritage everywhere. So you're in a place that's authentic. It's not being rebuilt. It's being kept with the wisdom of the, of the uh, Sultan and the city fathers. And they make sure it stays there and the people have great pride in it. Renaissance is defined as a period of revival and renewal. Thanks to a leader with a loving heart and the positive changes that the Sultanate has undergone, Oman is a model of progress to Arabia and the rest of the world.